What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So in this video, I'm going to be covering the duo Roadhog and Junkrat. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover two comics. The first one being Wasted Land. The second one is Going Legit. Once I've done that, and then I'm going to go through, I think you could probably class it as the origin story, which is the Junkers special report. I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to go through the gameplay trailer for both as well. So uh, without further ado, let's get into the first one, Wasted Land. Let's go. Jackpot, mates. Shut your gob and keep quiet. <laughs> Aussies. What? I'm just saying, can't believe nobody's stripped this farm yet. We ain't the first to try, but the others were noisy. So shut it or we'll be cactus. Okay. Hey, not likely. Old duck is loaded tonight. Like I, like I trust you to, to land the shot. Believe me, if we were if we wake the hog, we're doomed. Ooh, there we go. Dead. We're dead. There we go. Road rage. I love that as well. Road rage. <laughs> Kill that belly. <laughs> I told you. I told you he'd hear. And now we're. Wait, wait. What are you doing? Hmm, putting him down. Say hello to Ducky, you. Ooh. Uh oh. No, no. He did. Let me go, and these are yours, mate. Well, if I kill you, I'm going to get him anyway. So. Hmm. Plus, our scrap and weapons, even old Ducky, please. <laughs> uh, nope. World deserves them. They could scrap every panel here and it wouldn't get them a mile towards a real city. Junkertown, okay. But it'll get me something. Get me something. Hope you're not armed, Roadhog. Yeah, so obviously this is part of what we saw in the Junkie Town um, animated short as well. That was the opening scene on it. The Queen ain't giving you permission to carry here. Maybe we'll see the Queen then. Mm. I hate this place. We fought a war to protect our home. We got the apocalypse. And everyone's left fighting over the ashes. Reminds me so much of Mad Max. The Queen and her people can have it. They deserve what they get. With a few exceptions. Mako, holy. What uh, What brings you back here? Hmm, he knows him. Gold. Ah, the usual. But you can pay this time. Well, that's a new development. <laughs> Good for me. The Queen sends her puffed up bastards to collect if I can't pay taxes. Some things never change, eh? Hmm. <laughs> What's that? Leave the scrap, that'll cover things. Keep the coins for old time's sake. Bruce was an engineer, now he's wasting away like the rest. Okay, so obviously this is what Roadhog's thinking. The world wants to forget blokes like us, Mark. Mako wants us to stay quiet. Don't give him the satisfaction. I'm feeling thirsty. This city got to be good for sign. It's very simple. Talk, I hear you. Which will it be? Gentlemen, gentlemen, this is a misunderstanding. <laughs> what do you want? We have we have beer and what passes for whiskey these days. Beer then. Hey, if I knew where a priceless treasure was buried, I'd be thrilled to tell the queen about it. But I don't, so problem solved. Yeah? Hmm. <laughs> Junk rat. Afraid not. You've ru you've run your mouth one too many times, Junk rat. The Queen knows you're hiding something. Ooh. You tell us where it, it, it is, or we bleed you until you do. Hmm. 
Oh, oh. Like I said, I don't know anything about treasure. But if I did, and I'm not saying I do, then I'd only share it with a friend. Hmm. The kind of friend that would stick up for you. The kind that would kill to help you out of a jam. A friend like that. <laughs> I'd given I've give him a ten percent share. I give him <laughs> I know you I know you. Queen don't like you. Don't think she's forgotten about what you did, but luckily for you I'm willing to forget I saw you for old time's sake. Twenty percent <laughs> He's trying to negotiate twenty five? Just sit there like a good little pig. Ooh, we set him up there, and there'll be no need to make you squeal. Why have to say that? There we go. Stupid. Queen, don't mind if we damage you. Hell, she prefers. <laughs> wow. I knew it. I knew you are you looking like a fine upstanding saw. <laughs> Look at the guy. Look at the bartender. <laughs> this idiot. And that treasure. Oh yeah, what did we agree on? 20... 10% uh, was it? <laughs> 50. What? 50%. 50? That's a good one. Best I can do is a uh, 25. You drive a hard bargain mate. 28? I love you. It's not even speaking is it? Not saying nothing. Fine, 50% and that's my final offer. He's a liar, lies to himself most of all, but he's not the quiet type. The world deserves both him, so the world deserves him, deserves both of us. And we'll make sure they don't forget it. So there's the team. Hey. Right, so there is the team. That, how, that, I guess, is how the team was formed. So that's pretty good. That's pretty good, obviously, to see this wasted land. A little bit about, obviously, Roadhog doing his thing as well. And I like how he doesn't speak, but it obviously shows what he's thinking. And he obviously thinks through, obviously, the situations he's in. Um, and, yeah, it's cool to see, obviously, how the team was formed. They're obviously on the hunt for this treasure that, apparently, Drunk Rat knows where it is. Um, yeah, it was good. That was good. So what we'll do now is we'll, we'll move into the next one, which is going to be uh, going legit. Okay, going legit. Let's go. I am an honest businessman. My kindness, my social sensibilities, and my boundless humility make me a great target. This is obviously Sydney. You can see the Sydney Opera House, which I've been to, by the way. Very nice place. Okay, let's go. There's been an incident at my downtown factory. My workers have been taken hostage by terrorists. Omnic terrorists. I just want my people back, quietly. The police have better things to worry about. And when it comes to quiet, I hear there's nobody better than you two. Surely it can't be them, though. Come on, it. Oh, come on. Let me understand this, Sue. You're offering us a legit job, but we get to blow the figs off some Omnics. <laughs> and some save some blokes, and we'll get paid all that. This is merely the advanced junk rat. You'll get as much again when it's done. Just keep this quiet. Yeah, yeah, quiet. You called the right people, mate. I admit it, Roadhog. I was wrong. Not all suits are bad. Hmm. That one, he's alright. Got his history straight. Knows the omnis can't be trusted. Hello, police? Not like the rest of these city... Okay. Bet they still want to play the nice with those scrap heaps. Like that worked out for Overwatch. Hmm. This could be a new start for us. I love how <laughs> Roadhog doesn't say anything. Junkrat's always talking. Roadhog says nothing. Never talks. Oi, shut it, you, dr you drongo. I'm serious, we could go legit like this. Getting paid to blow Omnics. Almost too good to be true. C5. Okay. Wait a second, wait a second. What was that suit saying something about hostages? Yeah, whatever. I'm coming for you, you scrapped. 
Oh, there's no flaw, you son of. <laughs> At least it didn't break this time. Now, where are you? Intruder detected. Oi. It's a bit loud. <laughs> that was my kill. <laughs> Oof. Serves you right, you heifer. If that was the only Omni here, I'm gonna be <laughs> really upset. Right, okay. Spot too soon. Let's go. Time to earn our pay. What do you mean, quietly? Who told us that? We what a lovely day. Let's settle this fast. We're professionals now. <laughs> Don't want to keep the client waiting. Boom. Guarantee that's going to be... Woo. Okay. Beautiful. What? Alright, hostages. Why didn't you say so? Didn't hear no screams, didn't see no blood. Think they may have got out on their own. <laughs> oh, he's just killed them all. What's your problem? Logo, what logo? Hold on, these aren't Omnics, they're drones. What the hell, mate? <coughs> Why did the suit want us to whack a bunch of his own bots? Oh. Ooh. Ooh, set that up. Whoa, we're professionals like you. Me and Tubby, my Tubby friend, are just doing our job here. Keep an eye on the fat one. <laughs> Aisle. Boom. Did you just call my friend fat, you pig? <laughs> Let me up. They're dead. They all are. They're all. What no? The suit didn't set us up. He's an honest businessman. Socially sensible. Hmm. <laughs> Clear this up. Right, and he's a suit. Okay, he ain't paid what he owes yet. But he will. Can you believe it? Two Junker ma man Manics. Two Junker Manics tearing up the place for no reason. It's a shame how people see honest men as targets. <laughs> yeah, thank God. Nobody was hurt. Look at this guy. <laughs> My assistant will handle the insurance details. No, not at this number. Everyone else is off site until construction is done. Speaking of which, tell the shareholders that the insurance payout will solve our cash flow problems for the last few years. Uh -uh. Mm -mm. Oh, okay, sorry. Hello, mate. We could have had a good thing there. Oh, I hate suits. All of them. So, he's already dead. Plus, he's got a bomb here with two seconds and a countdown with C5. So, it's going to... Going to go boom. Whose idea was it to go legit anyways? <laughs> Hence the name. <laughs> Yeah, okay, so that was really good actually as well. Going legit. You just knew it though, didn't you? You just knew it was too good to be true. There's no way Roadhog, and especially Junkrat, can ever go legit. So you knew from the very get-go something didn't smell right. But yeah, that was cool. I like how it showed, obviously, that they, they, they initially tr um, trusted the suit, but he obviously double-crossed them, um, but he didn't do, do the job properly because obviously they didn't get killed, so they came back and they took him out quite easily as well. So that's good. So it's nice to see some of the adventures of Roadhog and uh, Junkrat as well. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to move on to the actual origin story called the Junker Special Report. So let's get into that. Tonight, <laughs> on a moment in crowd, their spree of mayhem and chaos has caused untold millions in property damage around the world. But who are these two deranged junkers? And what inspired their orgy of destruction? <laughs> is this the work of master criminals or just a couple of idiots? <laughs> it was junk rat. To answer it, a little bit of both. 
A little bit of both. Who masterminded this string of attacks that has stretched from the Australian outback to King's Row and beyond. Now this explosives-obsessed freak has his sights set on even greater acts of destruction. His co-conspirator, Roadhog, is a remorseless killer who hides his face behind a mask. This giant of a man is more than happy to use violence to resolve any situation. <laughs> Together they have burned, bombed, <laughs> robbed, and killed their way across the world. And their calamitous crime spree shows no sign of slowing down. Following their personal creed of no job too big, no score cool. too small, it seems as though there is no end in sight to this senseless rampage. <laughs> unless we get your help. If you have any information as to the whereabouts of these two extremely dangerous criminals, you need to contact us right away. <laughs> Remember, crime doesn't pay, but we do. Whoa! 25 mil. Okay, 25 million pound. Is that the end of that? Yeah, that is into that. So that was really good. A moment in crime special report. So I love that to the theme, how they've made that made it like into like this kind of like special bulletin. Special bulletin like news report slash like wanted poster for Junk Rat and Roadhog. And yeah, I love how they, they don't care. You know, no crown too small, no crown too big. So the fact they were stealing obviously maybe the crown jewels was the first shot. And then the last shot is stealing some basically some candy floss and some drink from an uh, innocent kid. Love it. I just love how they don't care. So funny. So, um, yeah, that was good. That was good. So what I'm going to do now is I am going to go on to the actual gameplay trailer for both. So, let's get into them. <laughs> Smoke and cough. <laughs> Scrap gun. Wow. Okay. So yeah, I guess obviously that's showing that it's got a wide burst, like a son of shotgun in it basically. Probably less damage per shot, but obviously you you don't have to be as accurate with it as well. So but Wow. Huh. It's like Mortal Kombat. Get over here. Take a breather. Oh <laughs> so he can heal himself. Okay, cool. Ultimate. Wow. Full hog. Okay, cool. No, I like that. And what's interesting as well is it looks like he's a player that's got a lot of health. He's quite a tanky player, it looks like. And he can heal himself as well. So a tanky player that can heal himself, he doesn't need to be super accurate with his shots with his um, his first ability and also with the full hog, his special as well. Um, cool, that's good. So what I'm going to do now is let me go into the gameplay trailer for Junkrat. <laughs> <laughs> this makes me smile, doesn't it? This is so funny. Wow, okay. You'll like this one. Surprise. <laughs> cool. That's tight. I like that. So the mine has two effects, doesn't it? When he walks on the mine or activate it, uh, activates the mine when he's near it, it allows him to jump. But he can also throw it at enemies and obviously damage enemies as well. Here we go. Ah! 
Wow, what? Hold on, oh, this is passive. What an amazing. If that, I, I presume that's his ultimate. Is that his ultimate? What? So he's got some. Oh, it's Q, let's call it. Rip tire. So he, he's able to activate. It's like a drone, basically. He can activate a tire, and for I think it was 10 seconds, he can control it and send it wherever he wants to send it. Wow, okay. Yeah, madness. That's mad. That's crazy. Wow. Rest in pieces. Wow. I tell you what, his ultimate is, that's crazy, how he can control it for 10 seconds and obviously when it hits an enemy, it's, it self-destructs. And also his passive, Total Mayhem, I like that as well. So when he dies, he's basically taking someone down with him or at least injuring them as well. So yeah, really cool, really dangerous player. Cool. So um, yeah, overall really good. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed my reaction and breakdown of the comics, the origin story if you want to call it that, and also the gameplay trailers for Junkrat and Roadhog. Um, I think this duo of Junkrat and Roadhog is perfect, you know, one is quiet, one talks too much, one's big, one's small, just the actual, like yin and yang, the actual contrast really works, they've both got the same goal obviously as well of creating just panic and mayhem but yeah i really do like both characters particularly junkrat makes me laugh so much so yeah um hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and if you did and uh, feel free to let me know feel free to like comment and maybe also subscribe for more content like this i will be covering i think it's moira or mora next week i will be doing her origin story and also her gameplay trailer so that's who i will be covering next tuesday so yeah i will see you guys in the next one